Hi, in this video, we're going to try to access the virtual classroom, assuming that we have already installed the Blackboard launcher. Go to sign in, go to your Savi homepage, and click on BCR Collaborate, which is this button here. Once you click here, you will see all these purple buttons, which are different classroom. Assuming I am in T01, I should click in to go in and join. Okay, it tells me it's not open yet. It will be open on 26th November, which is next Wednesday, starting from 1.30 to 4. All right, your class is from 2 to 4, but the classroom will be open half an hour earlier. So in this case, you can't enter. Okay, I'm going to do some settings. I'm going to come back here again. Right, so the setting is done. Let me just try to see whether I can get in or not. Um, I have just enabled T01, so assuming my class is in T01, here you go. That's it. So you will see this room, okay? When you click on Join Room, it will download a little file called meeting.collab, okay? We collab sending the short form for collaboration. Um, down here you find download the Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. If you have followed the first video and already installed the launcher, you don't need to worry about this. Okay, so right now I'm going to join the virtual classroom and I'm going to click on Join Room, which in essence will start downloading, if you notice in this corner, the meeting.collab uh, file. It's a very small file, so you should download immediately. Okay, once this is done, you can see the purple icon is no longer flashing. You can double click to launch this. Okay, it should be launching it. There, there will be error messages. Just click OK to it because these are some false errors. Okay. You can minimize the mail window right now. You will see this window. It is launching. Just click OK to the error message. It's a Java issue. Okay, once that's done, it will launch the virtual classroom. There you go. Okay, it will just keep saying OK until the error messages goes away. And it's connecting to the server in Recording Seattle. In progress. Okay. Once you're in, so at this moment, since I'm the only student here, my name, which is the dummy student account, appears here. When all of you are in the room, all your names will be reflected. Okay. When you're in the room, and if you want to ask a question, this is called the hands up button. Okay. Once you click your hands up, then your lecturer will be the one who's giving you permission to speak okay at this moment you can't talk or you can't have video because the talk and video is only limited to six person so once you put up your hand to ask a question or to comment or ask to comment um, your tutor or lecturer will select your name and give you access to the microphone and to the video okay now before you start you may want to configure the classroom to make use of your video. So go to Tools, go to Audio, and go to Audio Setup Wizard. In this particular case, you will want to use a headphone because a headphone will cut down on the noise level at a microphone. When you're done with the audio setup, the second step is to set the microphone settings. The microphone setting, um, in this case, it's again this, um, my PC setting. For your PC setting, it should be the laptop microphone. Huh? Remember, the first setting is you want to set it to your headphone so that it's less uh, uh, noisy. The second one, you want a microphone in your laptop. Okay. For camera settings, you can choose your camera settings. So in this case, I've got the FaceTime HD camera, etc., etc. Okay. 
Now, um, I'm once this is selected, you should be able to see your video inside uh, um, the uh, classroom when you are participating in any discussion, huh? provided if your tutor or your lecturer gives you access. Back to the hands up. When you're done with the question or your turn to speak, um, you can put your hands down. Okay? All right. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you next week for the Collaborate session. Bye.